What's the deal? Family, welcome back to the channel, bringing you the realest and rawest reactions on YouTube. Today, we got another banger for y'all, man. So, look. We got five scary videos filmed by Dashcam Volume 2, man. Y'all seem to like these videos, so we're going to run this one up right here, man. Uh, this is brought to us by Chill. Shouts out to them over there. Uh, we're going to hop straight into this one, man. You guys know what to do. Hit that like button. Send me more videos to react to in the comments. Get at me on the socials, man. Let's get to it. Bye. This Uber driver was not expecting this today. But she doesn't realize yet how worse things are going to go from here. She has a two-way dash cam so we can see both inside and outside the car. Yo, what's she doing? Hey, she running up in front of the car. Yo, she, she wild for that. Cam so we can see both inside and outside the car. What appears at first to just be a small accident escalates. She exits her vehicle and stops the other car involved just as it's about to speed away. Hey, she not playing. She getting that insurance claim. She said, no, today I am getting me an insurance claim. What are we talking about, homie? Hands all on the hood. You stopping today. I need all them numbers. I need the card. I need the, the, the people. I need all that information. <laughs> You're not about to go nowhere, homie. <laughs> the car still won't stop, so she jumps on the hood. Hey, she not playing! The car, the other driver <laughs> finally stops. That's wild. They argue over what just happened. It appears the other driver doesn't want to take the blame. She thinks they're about to swap information, but the other driver speeds off again. Oh, they don't got no insurance. They out of there. This Uber driver is clearly furious, and she begins chasing down the car. <laughs> they swerve through traffic and a red light. This is getting serious. You hear that breathing, dog? She ready to catch a body today, bro. She about to catch her first body on a dash cam, bro. She not... You hear that breathing, bro? She been through something. She been through some things before, man. Because she... She breathing. She trying to control herself, man. She about to... She about to catch a body, bro. The driver pulls in front of the other car in an attempt to stop it. But the car quickly pulls out and speeds off again. Another attempt to stop the vehicle is made. This is Florida. The other driver so? just turns the other way. Finally, this driver is able to force the other car into a parking lot. Oh, where are you going? It's a wrap. Where are you going? Welcome to the Thunderdome. Yeah. This driver traps them there. I wonder if she's like ex-police, you know what I'm saying? Like, what if she worked in law enforcement? Because she was like, I'm on it, bro. You know, we got the high-speed chase. We got the goddamn, you know what I'm saying? We got a uh, a Mazda, a Mazda, some bullshit. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> she might have been a police uh, ex-law enforcement. Ready. You crazy, Get up your car. The other driver seems just as furious, and this escalates into a scuffle. This Uber driver takes the keys from the other driver. Give me my key. You give me my key. Give me my key. And this escalates to further confrontation in the Uber. Where's my key, lady? Where's my key, lady? Get her off me! She just in my car. She, she just ran into me. Had the thing. You just ran me. She just did a hit and run. No, I didn't. I Yo. <laughs> no! Why she sound like that? Hold up, why she sound like she sound more like a she sound more, you know. Hold up, man. Why she sound like that though? Hell no. Why nah fam, hold up. Did y'all hear that too or am I tripping, bruh? She just ran into me, had the thing in 
me! She just did a hit and run. No, I didn't! I have, didn't. Have, you the, hit whole, me. I have the whole thing on dash cam. Nevertheless, it's unclear what happened next. But this video shows you never know how things can escalate in that situations like this. That sound like it might have been a dude, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Number four. A school bus pulls to the right on a highway in Norway. Fitted with a dash cam, the car behind him also stops. As students pile out of the bus, they move behind it to cross the road. Then one makes a mad dash across the center line. Thankfully, the dash cam driver laid on their horn, no doubt saving the student's young life oh my and the life gosh, of that semi-driver, as who would ever get over such a horrific event. This is why when you young, it's important to make sure your kids go outside and walk around and be in real life. A lot of people be too protective of their kids. So once they, when they get into real life, they not thinking about certain things. They just care. So they just be moving, thinking they invincible and stuff. And it's like some of the simplest stuff, like crossing the highway or crossing the street is like something you got to make sure you teach your kid. Even if they do this every single day, he that kid might do that every single day. Like he might just be dashing across the highway and he just always gets lucky, right? And that was probably the closest moment he ever had where he it was almost bad for him. You know what I mean? But sometimes it's too late until you find out, oh, I thought he knew how to do this. He been doing this. I thought he knew how to, he, he ain't really been doing it right. Little stuff like that. It's crazy. Number three. This driver is heading down a narrow road in the woods when he spots another vehicle at the side of the road. Gotta be careful with that. As he approaches, it becomes clear why. A large tree has fallen across the road. While the pair chat, they don't realize they're in grave danger. Jesus. Ooh. Oh, that thing. The large truck narrowly misses the driver. The driver calls Dave over the radio. Why was that truck going so fast though? Like, it's not clear if the truck missed the other car as well. We can assume he missed the woman, as the driver doesn't sound too distressed. He pulls further out of the way. But unfortunately, I don't know how this one ends. Hmm. Number two. Get away from me! Get away from me! This man is run off the road by a truck. Get away! Get away from me! Don't ever do that again. You are way too anyone. close. You are way too close. I was going behind. You are way too close. You need to give me more room than that. Get on, get out, just drive away, man. Go ahead, go ahead. No, I'm not going in front of you. I don't trust your driving. Get out of here. The police show up just in time. Can you knock me off my bike? You're insane, man. I left your room to maneuver around me. You're way. <laughs> Look, bro. I left you room to maneuver around me. Like people who people who talk like that, bro. Just be ready. Just be ready, dog. People who talk like that, bro, they got a lot of internal stuff going on. You know what I mean? They not thinking right. They not in their right mind. They this close to catching a body, bro. You know what I mean? They just, I left you enough room to maneuver. You know, like, imagine, like, you know them little kids? When a little kid, little punk-ass little kid or something, like, it's all internal and they getting mangled. I told you I didn't want to do that. Like, that... That's, you know, that's adult version of that. Real talk. You know what I'm saying? So, be mindful of people who speak like that, man. Because they, they this close to losing all they marbles. All of them. Gone. Out the bag. 
rolling down the damn highway, gone, losing all the marbles. Too close. I could have touched your car if I reached any further, man. I got this all on camera. I got it all on camera, man. What's the matter with you? Nothing. I heard you. You're the one who flipped me off first, man. I didn't want to try anything. I was just going around him and he started to... Hey, hey, look how that voice changed. Look how that voice changed. That cop needs to lose weight, bro. Let's just be real right there. That cop needs to lose some weight. Sorry, just throwing it out there. Yeah. Nothing. I heard you. You're the one who flipped me off first, man. I didn't want to try anything. I was just going around him and he started to... I didn't want to try anything. I was just going around him and then he started... Two seconds ago, he was like, I gave you enough room to maneuver in front of me. You see what I'm saying, bro? People like that, they don't, they they all over the place internally. They got a lot going on, man. The officer sees right through the driver. Exactly. So much for a nice Saturday more Sunday morning ride, huh? Apparently, the bicyclist had motioned for the truck driver to give him more space. After getting the driver's statement, the policeman asks, What did he do? Um, I started recording this right after he uh, came too close. <coughs> I was biking down the street, and he, uh, <coughs> I saw him in my rearview mirror, I said there was an oncoming car. He was way too close, so I stuck out my arm for him to get away. When he passed me, he flipped me off, so I flipped him off. He just pulled it to the side of the shirt. Oh, I'm... Where do you want me? By this time, witnesses have gathered. <clears throat> Good witnesses? Yeah, I got it on camera, too. Okay. I started recording as soon as he passed me too close. And some witnesses want to talk to the police. Should be doing this. <laughs> he was running me off the road. Yeah, you, you share the road. You have a big truck, so what? You're a tough guy in your truck. Hey, that's enough. You're a tough guy in your truck. Don't worry. You have been just here. We will move back. The police report is written and witness statements are taken. And thankfully, things don't get more out of hand. Number one. It's a summer day in the Bay Area and Eric and Brandy Gear are turning onto the freeway. Traffic seems light for California standards, and for what's about to happen, that's certainly a good thing. They're on the westbound I-580 near the 164th Ave exit in unincorporated San Leandro. Suddenly, almost out of nowhere, a plane dips into view. Oh, that's wild. Dog, he on the freeway with it. I told you that guy was Oh my God. Yo, he really riding on the freeway with the plane, though. You can hear the panic in Eric and Brandy's voices, as this is certainly something you don't deal with every day. It's a single engine Cessna 172 plane making an emergency landing. The gears told CBS News that it looked like the pilot waited for a gap in traffic. If anybody knows this, if a plane lands on a freeway, like right, how do they get that plane out of there? Do they tow it? Do they just block the runway and let them take off? Like what? Like I'm I'm serious. I don't really know. Like so, if anybody knows, like let me know. How do they take that plane and get it off the freeway or highway, whatever? What, what in front of the pilot even tries to get the plane to the shoulder of the road. Brandy quickly calls 911. I can dial. We need, we need uh, flares. 
Amazingly, the pilot and his passenger are not hurt. And all cars managed to avoid the plane. The plane was not damaged, and neither were any cars on the freeway. CBS News reported that the pilot reported issues with the fuel pump and made the decision to make an emergency landing. Well, it's a miracle everyone was alright. This video goes to show you never know what can happen on the freeway. Even Man, something can pop out of the sky. That was crazy. Anyways, that was eight, uh, sorry, five scary videos filmed by Dash Camp Volume 2. Hopefully y'all enjoyed that. If you did, you know what to do. Hit that like button, subscribe, get at me with more videos, all that, man. Uh, and that's pretty much it, man. I love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Remember to keep it real, 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 real. Always reaches everyone next time. Peace.